Hello guys, we are going to install Fedora 25 on VM using VirtualBox. I'm using MacBook with OS X Yosemite 10.10. .10. First of all, we are going to need two things. First thing is the ISO file of the latest Fedora Live image. You can get that at their official of, uh, website. I will post the link in the comment section. Secondly, you, you need to uh, you need the virtual box application installed and running on your Mac book. This is the virtual box. We can go in. <coughs> so you just go um, open virtual box and press the new button. You can name it anything you want. So let's say uh, Fedora. Let's write like Fedora. And then uh, the type down, let's uh, down, down, drop the down, select Linux. And the version select Fedora uh, 64 bits and hit continue. <coughs> Manage the memory size. Adjust it and then hit continue uh, just leave it as a create a virtual hard disk now and then uh, leave it actually as VDI virtual uh, disk image hit continue leave it as dynamically located hit continue <coughs> so here is the file location and size so I'm just leaving it at 8 gigabytes. <coughs> Continue. So now we go to the settings. You can go from here or you can just go back and right click settings. Storage. And then the MBTCD here over here. Then you see the small CD in here. Yeah, this one, the small one, press it, choose virtual optical disk file. So now we get, when you are choosing the file we, are, the, we downloaded from the website. The link I'm posting on the comment section. <coughs> so press OK. Then hit start. There's a green button or you just can right click and start it's gonna ask you here if you want to start Fedora or just hit enter now we are starting Fedora <coughs> so just uh, uh, click on live system user and uh, click on install to hard drive so here you can choose any language you want if you are not uh, familiar with English you can choose any language makes it easier for you for installation then hit continue then here is the keyboard, the, ta the time and the date and networking. So here we have to put partitions so we can continue. We're gonna go into the installation destination. We press here. There is no disk selected so we have to select. This is the date, this is the network if you want to adjust it or if you want to change the time or anything. So let's let's enter here in installation destination. You press you click you click on the eight gigabytes, which is the giga we just uh, size it. Here as you can see we have two options automatically convert partitioning or I will configure partitioning 
you can configure your partition if you want if you wish so have swag partitions or something but I'm gonna just give it as automatically configured partition and yeah just here and then go press done It takes some time, but it's okay. And now it's safe in storage configuration. It takes a few seconds. After that, here you can press begin installation. All right, click on it. So here the user name creation. You you put your username. I'm right. I'm typing like my name and then i go down make this user ad ad an admin and the password write any password you want you wish so whatever you like then done this is the root password so uh, let's uh, put another password for the root password let's say this one and confirm it and then done and he is installing software 55% and now it is installing it takes some time but is installing As you can see here, you just go down on uh, quit in the corner and you quit it. It's completed. Just quit. And here you go. You have Fedora and your feature box installed already.